In this video, I'm gonna share 10 magical, but less known about camping spots. The kind of places you dream about camping at. And they're all located in the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Some of these camping spots are more rustic, and some of them have full hookups. Big spoiler alert, they all have pristine water access. Welcome back, team small camper fam. Or if you're new here, hi, I'm Randy, and every Thursday I share tips and tricks to help you make big memories in your small camper. The Ontonagon Township Park is located in the northwest portion of the UP of Michigan, and it sits directly on the shores of Lake Superior. Several camping spots on this list are located directly on the shores of Lake Superior, but here's the thing. Each shoreline is so unique and magical in its own way. And I love the slab rocks that you can see in the water and walk on. This shoreline is beautiful. But the thing I love doing each time I come camping here is looking for sea glass, which are small pieces of broken glass that have washed up on the shore. And youper lights. Several years ago, I met the nicest boy. Hi, Caden. And he introduced me to youper lights. Euperlites are rocks that look ordinary during the day, but at night when you shine a black light on them, they come alive and they glow. Exploring the shoreline at nighttime looking for euperlites is an incredible experience. Many of the campsites at this campground are waterfront campsites with amazing views of Lake Superior. And all campsites have electricity and water hookups. All campsites are on a first come first serve basis. And you can call them the day you want to arrive and they'll let you know if there's an open campsite available. If a waterfront campsite's not available, once you arrive, you can go on a waiting list if you want to. Then at 11.30, you meet at the office and when your name comes up on the list, you can move to a waterfront campsite. The Bayview Campground is located in the northeast portion of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. There's two things that make this campground really special. And the first thing is the campsites. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're huge. And the second thing is most of them have direct access to Lake Superior. I couldn't believe what I saw the first time I walked out on this beach. The stretch of pristine, soft sand lining the crystal clear waters of Lake Superior felt like paradise tucked away in the rugged wilderness. There aren't any hookups at this campground and this campground offers both first come first serve campsites and campsites that you can reserve at recreation.gov. The Blind Sucker Number 2 State Forest Campground is located in the northeast portion of the UP of Michigan and seven miles down a washboard gravel road. But don't let this stop you from camping here. We had to go slow, but otherwise we had no problems getting there. This is a rustic campground situated on the shores of the Blind Sucker Flooding. And what makes this campground so magical is the large, gorgeous campsites in a wooded, serene setting. And most of them are lakefront campsites. Camping on Lake Superior or Lake Michigan is really special, but the water is always cold. That's why camping on a clean, smaller lake with a sandy beach is perfect for swimming or fishing because the water is much warmer. Also, this campground is just about one mile from Lake Superior, and there's a beautiful hiking trail from the campground that'll take you there. There aren't any hookups at this campground, and all campsites are on a first come, first serve basis. The Mouth of Huron is a dispersed camping spot located in the northwest portion of the UP of Michigan. And this was definitely one of my favorite camping spots I've ever camped at. <laughs> this isn't a campground, so you just pick a spot that you want to set up camp at. <laughs> but there was a big challenge that we encountered. There's only one place to turn around and trying to turn around with our 20 foot little guy Max was really challenging. 
Thank goodness my husband's good at maneuvering our camper around trees because after we got all situated, I was pinching myself at just how breathtakingly beautiful the scene was. The air was crisp and clean and the scent of the fresh water and the pine made it hard to believe that such a tranquil and untouched piece of paradise was going to be mine for a few nights. I had so much fun getting my feet wet and putting my toes in the sand and exploring this beautiful place. I'm definitely coming back here, but next time I'm bringing a tent instead of my camper. There are no hookups here, and if you can find a spot to put your tent, your van, or a small trailer, you can camp here. The Lake Superior State Forest Campground is located in the northeast portion in the UP of Michigan. The Blind Sucker Pathway and the North Country Trail run between this campground and Lake Superior. When you walk down this trail, you'll notice on one side of the trail is a campsite and then there's a path that'll take you to Lake Superior. The campsites at this campground are fairly large and some of them are more private than others. And when you have a path from your campsite that leads you to Lake Superior, it's a pretty special campsite. There are no hookups at this campground and all campsites are available on a first-come, first-served basis. I've got more camping spots you need to know about coming up. But real quick, I want to ask you if you know of any magical camping spots in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan that aren't on my list. If you do, will you please, please let me know? I'm going to be spending a couple of weeks there this summer and I'd love to explore some new places. The Munising Tourist Park Campground is located in the north central part in the UP of Michigan. This campground has about 100 campsites and some of them are situated directly on the Lake Superior shoreline. The location of this campground is special because it's located minutes from the quaint little city of Munising. Plus, it's located about 10 minutes from the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. And this is a must-see destination. There's a lot to see and do and explore in this area. This campground does have hookups. In fact, some of the campsites have full hookups. And you can make your reservations online on their website. The 12 Mile Beach Campground is located in the northeast portion in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. This campground sits on a sandy bluff above Lake Superior's 12 Mile Beach. And this is the bluff view from the campsite that we camped at. There are steps you can take to get down to the beach, but I thought it might be kind of fun to run down the sandy bluff to get to the water. It took me less than a minute to get down there and, well, quite a bit longer to climb back up, but it was good exercise. If you love nature, listening to the waves of Lake Superior and miles of shoreline to explore, or just sitting in the soft sand and enjoying the views. You're gonna love camping here. This campground does not have any hookups and you can make reservations on recreation.gov. The Epofit Bay Campground is located in the small community of Epofit in the southeast portion in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan on the northern shores of Lake Michigan. And this is a quaint, well-kept grassy area with just six camping spots. The campsites are not private by any means, but the thing that makes this camping spot special was the shoreline. It was unique, a little rugged, which made it beautiful, but it was also shallow for a ways out, so you could walk around and sit in the water. And because it was shallow, the water was nice and warm and so enjoyable to be in. There are no hookups here, and all campsites are on a first-come, first-served basis. The Breverett Lake Campground is located in the southeast portion in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan on a peninsula. This campground has very spacious campsites and most of them have direct access to the clear, cool waters of Brevert Lake, which is over 4,000 acres. And these lakefront campsites have pristine, sandy shorelines. So you can have your own private access to enjoy swimming or wading in the water or 
watching the sunset. The lake has abundant fishing opportunities and plenty of space for canoeing or paddle boarding. There are no hookups at this campground and you can make a reservation at recreation.gov and some of the campsites are available on a first come first serve basis. Kleine County Park I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly and forgive me because I may have gotten some of these words wrong, but this campground is located in the southern part of the UP of Michigan along the Bay of Green Bay with 13 campsites located directly on the shores of Green Bay. You can't get any closer without getting wet. I always spend a night or two at this campground when I'm heading from Minnesota to the UP because it's located directly off the highway of 35, which is right on my route. This campground has a quarter mile of very pristine sandy beach along the bay with plenty of space to relax and enjoy the picturesque views. I love the shallow waters, so it's so fun to get wet and swim in the water, especially on a hot summer day. These campsites have electric hookups and reservations can be made on the campground website. If the idea of RV camping without hookups makes you nervous or you think it's too hard to do, you need to watch this video next. In this video, I show you step by step just how easy it is because I don't want you to miss out on experiencing a magical adventure just because there aren't hookups. Well, that's a wrap and I can't wait to hang out with you again next Thursday.